In this video, I'm dancing with hot, scantily clad chicks in VR chat that might actually be all dudes. I scan myself with the Creality 3D scanner to get a 3D model of my head because I want to build a statue of myself in VR. I learn how to build and publish my own VR chat world to do exactly this and finally put it all together and make exactly this happen. Wait, what? Now, this is going to be a fun video. So, Creality, the makers of 3D scanners like this here, the Otter and 3D printers have reached out to me and said, Sebastian, you are this VR dude. Could we send you the Creality Otter and you scan things into VR and we give you lots of money to do this? Well, yes. So it was totally up to me what to scan and how to see it in VR. But I thought it would be boring to just scan something and then have a look at it in some kind of 3D design app. So instead, I thought, why not scan me and learn how to build a VR chat world, teach you also how to do that, and then make a world with my hats there as a statue and then walk in it and have some fun. And that's exactly what I did. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. I'm so glad that you're back on the channel. My name is Sebastian Ang, and this is the CR Scan Otter from Creality, and it's a four lens stereo system that allows you to scan objects from 10 millimeters to two meters, and you scan objects, faces, bodies, it's pretty wild. It comes with this little object that you can scan for a try, and I'm going to scan that in VR chat as well. This is the cable that connects your scanner with the computer, and this is the scanner itself. It is a high-end scanner, it's gonna set you back $959 on Amazon, the link is down in the description. You can also get a cheaper one, the Ferret, for like $450, but this is really good quality, you will see in a moment. First of all, you have to calibrate the whole thing in the software that you can download from the website and you scan the barcode on the back of the calibration board that I showed you a moment ago and then you calibrate by following the steps that they show you here on the screen very simple once you're done Ian, then you can start to scan and that's exactly what i did start a new project and then you can choose what you're going to scan like in this case i scanned this little all i didn't change anything just went with this and then the scanning can begin and here's the little all and on the right you see those green points and that is what you're looking for you want to get the whole owl in green which means you scanned enough points for this to happen yeah so simple as this and now you're going to see how i do this simply like this of course it would be better if i had some kind of turntable they would turn the all by itself but yeah it also works like this once you've done that then this is how it's going to look like the whole owl is going to be green and you can finish your scanning process and you're basically done you can now delete all those points the red ones that are actually not the object itself and you simply mark them and delete them and it was simple for me that's my first scan and without a problem i could do that yep and then you come to something like this the color is going to be added and boom this is my first scan and i was pretty impressed by how simple it was to do that and how good the scan looked like then you export it as an obj file object and these kind of files well you can use in building the chat worlds, simply putting that into Unity. Now I'm going to show you how to make a world. You go to the VRChat website, you learn how to get started, and you're going to learn about the VRChat Creator Companion. And this Creator Companion is simply genius because it's going to lead you step by step through the installation process of everything you need, and it's simply going to hold you by the hand. So install that and open that Creator Companion, Click on continue and it's going to check if you have already Unity. I don't have it. So click on continue and then Unity installation. Click on install Unity. First you need the Unity hub to do that. And well, it shows you what to do. Download the Unity hub from Unity website. You click on it. So and you follow everything step by step. Here I download the Unity hub. I install it and have it installed or installing it right now actually. So then here it's finished now, the Unity Hub installation. Now I click, I have installed the Unity Hub. Here it is. And now I need to make uh, an account, a Unity ID. 
So I do that. I confirm that via email so that I have this Unity ID ready now for the next steps. All right, then I have installed the Unity app, click on it. And now install Unity and it's going to install exactly the right Unity um, version that you need for VRChat. You see how simple it is? It is so cool. So once this is done, you click on create new project and yeah, you can simply select the template like Worlds for example or you simply start now and configure the project, you, the project name, let's call it MRTV World, for example. That's it. Then you click on create project and now everything is being set up so that you can start your own world. Yeah, you click on open project, Unity starts, MRTV World loads and this is your canvas, this is Unity. This is where you're going to build your world and believe me, it is simple. It is not complicated at all. All right. So next, you open that VRChat SDK by going here, VRChat SDK Utilities, and then, no, Show Control Panel. You can log in with your VRChat username and password. And then I tried to, for fun, build this world and upload it to VRChat. But then it tells me, hey, no, you're a new user at VRChat and your status is like visitor. You have to become a user in order to upload worlds to VRChat. All right. And in order to become a user, you have to spend like 10 hours in VR chat and make some friends. And guess what I did? And yes, here's the part that you've all been waiting for. I danced the night away in VR chat and I had a great time. The VR chat community is so friendly and welcoming. And no, it's not just screaming kids. So I want to thank Alex from the MRTV Discord server who introduced me to this and I'm so, so excited about VRChat now. I'll be back. 10 hours later. So after I got the user status, I could finally build my world and here's the owl that I scanned and I could simply input it into this app, into Unity by putting it into the asset section. I'm going to show you later how I did it with my face as well. Oh God, that's going to be so fun. So. I scanned my face with that scanner and just like I scanned the old, but it was a bit more complicated, right? I have to scan myself and uh, well, I move while doing that. So yeah, here we go. It's not perfect, but it's pretty spectacular. What you can do with this scanner simply yourself. Next time I'm going to ask my wife to help me with this, but this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Scan myself here into this same process like with the owl. And here we are. Here is my first 3D model of my head. And yeah, exporting that stuff and then putting it into Unity for the world that I'm going to build. The exporting results in three files. And these three files, I simply move over to the assets folder. And then there is my head. And this head, I simply move into that Unity window. And here we are. So simple, it's so simple to put things into the VR chat world that you're building. And then with these arrows, you can move the assets around, simple as that. And there's so many more things that you can do in Unity, of course. Like for example, you can duplicate it. That's what I did here because I wanted to have two heads. Yeah, actually in the end, I got three. You can rotate them, of course. You can make them smaller, you can make them bigger. There's so many Unity tutorials out there. This is not one, so go and find one if you want to do more than I do here. But simply putting assets into this world is pretty much what you do to build a world. With the scanner, you can scan as many objects as you want, or you go to the Unity Asset Store and buy assets or get them for free, and yeah. Then you name that world, and you click on Publish it, Build and Publish, and then it's building it, it's publishing it, directly to VR chat and that is what happening right now here. Yes, crazy. And then you can click here, see your world that you built on the VR chat website. I did this and indeed here, MRTV Sebastian, that's me. And three body me is the world that I've just built. Here it is. But of course, I didn't want to see my world just on the website. I wanted to experience it in VR, in VR chat. So I directly went into VR chat. Oh, yes, here, here it is, uploaded. Oh my goodness, here it is. I've just uploaded it and here it is. I am excited about this. What? What? Whoa, <laughs> this is huge. 
Oh my god. This is so scary. Like it's floating in the air. So I would fall down here probably, right? This is my first scan, right? I was moving around and stuff. But for my first scan, I think that is pretty cool. So I was also scanning this owl guy. And yeah, that was easier, right? Since, since the owl is um, not moving and it was pretty perfect to scan it. Can I walk on this? No, I'm gonna fall down, right? Let's try. Oh no, I can walk, perfect. No, I'm falling down. No, no. Okay, here I'm again. Cool, so cool. Just think about what you can do with this. And I have marked this as horror. <laughs> you know, you know why. But if I like, uh, yeah, would try this like more seriously and have somebody else scan me, right? I tried this, I simply scanned myself as you saw. And this is the first try only, wow. Just think about the possibilities that you have like scanning all kinds of things into VR chat and building your own worlds here. This is, this is phenomenal. This is really cool. How simple it is to make your own worlds. And yeah, having such a scanner, of course, really helps. All right, that was probably one of the coolest corporations that I ever did on the channel. So thanks again for Creality for sending this over and working with me. I had lots of fun, learned how to build VR chat worlds and also made a nice video in the process. Okay, we can certainly go on like that. And yeah, this truly is cool. I can absolutely scan everything now into a VR chat, can build the coolest worlds ever. And I want to do that. So Creality Otter, the link is down in the description of this video if you also want to pick one up. So let me know in the comment section, what did you think about this video? Do you want to visit that creepy world that I did? And in general, let me know your thoughts. That is everything that I got for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you are a fan of virtual reality and VR hardware. This also is some kind of VR hardware, right? Helps you to scan things into VR. All right, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.